Microsoft Windows provides a number of system recovery options to help you repair Windows if a serious error occurs. To use the system recovery options, you will need a Windows installation disk, or access to the recovery options provided by your computer manufacturer. If you don't have either of these, you will need to create a system repair disk to access the system recovery options. In this video we will cover the creation of both a system repair disk on a CD slash DVD, and the creation of recovery USB drive. There are different mechanisms for creating each of them, but the end result is the same, so which one you use will depend on the media access available on your machine, and your own preferences. We will cover the creation of a repair CD slash DVD first, so skip ahead to the section on creating a USB recovery drive, if that is the option you want to take. Creating a system repair CD slash DVD. Click the start button and select the settings option. Click on update and security, and then select the backup option. Click on the link to go to backup and restore for Windows 7. Click on the option to create a system repair disk. Select the CD slash DVD drive containing the media on which you wish to create the repair disk. In this example, I am using a rewritable DVD, which contains some existing files. I will need to erase the disk and try again. With a blank disk inserted, click the Create Disk button to start the creation of the disk. Administrator permission is required, so if you are prompted for an administrator password or confirmation, type the password or provide confirmation to proceed. If you are prompted to insert a Windows installation disk, it means that the files needed to create the system repair disk can't be found on your computer. You will need to insert a Windows installation disk to proceed. Creation of the repair disk won't take any longer than a few minutes. Now that we're done, we can take a quick look at the disk in the file explorer. Be sure to label and store the disk in a safe place for when you might need it. Creating a USB recovery drive. Click on the start menu and scroll down to expand the Windows Administrative Tools folder. Scroll down and select the recovery drive option. You can also type recovery drive in the Windows search box and then click on the recovery drive option when it appears. Windows will request permission to run the recovery drive program. Click yes to proceed. On the first screen, you have the option to backup system files to the recovery drive. This is useful for recovering a Windows install that has been corrupted, but it won't recover your system in the event that your system drive has failed. You need a backup system image for that, which is what we recommend you create. In that case you can uncheck this box as this will save a lot of time in creating the recovery drive. Click Next. Now we are presented with a list of the USB drives on your system, and you need to select one of these for the creation of the recovery drive. Note that any existing files on the selected drive will be lost, so be sure to select the correct drive if you have multiple drives connected. Select the target drive and click Next. You can now select Create, to create your Windows recovery drive. If you have chosen not to back up the system files on the recovery drive, it will only take a minute or two to create. If you had chosen to back up the system files, the creation process will take significantly longer, so it might be a good time to grab a cup of coffee. So you're all done and you have your recovery drive to go with your system image backup. If you haven't already done a system image backup, why don't you do it now? Check out the link in the description on how to create it. Note that your system repair CD slash DVD or recovery USB drive are tied to the Windows variant you are using, so you cannot use a recovery drive created with a 32-bit version of Windows on a 64-bit system or vice versa. The system repair utility provides the ability to revert to an earlier system restore point, as well as reverting to a stored system image in the event of a more catastrophic failure. Both of these mechanisms are covered in separate videos, the links to which are in the description. Thanks for watching today. Hit a like on the video if you found it of use, and please hit the subscribe button and notification bell to receive notice of more videos like this.